beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Isaiah 29 verse 11, I have taught you here, but I found a very interesting version. I think it's called New Century Version or so, NCV. If you can't find it, let's just work with what we have. But I, as I was going through several versions because I wanted to see what they said about this scripture, I found a version called NCV. I think that should be New Century Version or so. I think it's one of the modern versions and it puts it in a very profound way but here it says and the vision of all is become unto you watch this like the words of a book that is sealed the new century version says that is closed and sealed which men deliver to one who is learned saying read this i pray thee and he said, I cannot read it. Why? Because it is sealed. 12. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I'm not even learned in the first place. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. This Bible you see is both closed and sealed. I have taught you. The closing of it is physical, but the sealing of it is spiritual. So just because you open this like this does not mean it is opened. Your hand has opened it, but the seal has not been unlocked. So you will read it and at best just read history and read archaeology and read literature. But when the seal is broken, you will now begin to see things that you never knew were there. And those who have this seeing eye can carry a scripture you have been reading every day. By the time they open it unto you, sometimes you feel annoyed and say, God, this is not fair. I've read this all my life. I even have it as an inscription in my house, as a wallpaper. And yet my eyes did not see it. When your eyes are opened and when you receive the gift of the seeing eye, the gift of sight you must have insight unusual insight into the mysteries of scripture hmm. is someone learning you will open your bible and you can stay on one verse for one week because of the depth of what you have found there it does not make sense when you have the gift of sight you can literally open genesis 1 verse 1 and bring out 20 sermons from verse 1. And I say that without exaggeration. In the beginning, God, you can stop there. That already is a sermon that can be a series. In the beginning, God. Leave the other things. In the beginning, God. And you stop there. Created the heavens and the earth. Meaning he was not in any of them. You can start there. John 3.16 
For God so loved the world by, by the inspiration that comes from scripture. You can look at this scripture and draw forth many sermons. Draw forth insights that can build your life, build your business, build your family. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world. So your extent of giving is a measure of the depth of your love. He so loved, he gave his only. He so loved, he gave his only. That's the only thing your eyes will see. So if I so love, I can give even my only. If I cannot give my only, the problem is not my hand. The problem is the extent of my love. If I cannot give my all to my vision, it's because I do not so love it. If I cannot give my all to my family, it's because I cannot so love them. That in itself, a family series can come out of this because of insight into scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave. Another person will recite this as a memory verse. Recite your solution and still die because you do not have insight. Eli who said there is a spirit in man. Job 32 and verse 8. And the breath, the inspiration of the almighty, he says, give them understanding. Hallelujah. Every time I pray, I ask the Lord to quicken my understanding and to grant me truly the gift of sight. When you receive this every part, I believe that in, in my encounters where the light of Jesus came to me, this was one of the things that he was doing. Light entered me. And it was like a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. You literally open any part of the Bible and you can see something. What is this now? insight into scripture there are good sincere men of God who are already weary once it is Saturday they are crying because they don't know what to preach again they've preached on kindness the gift of the spirit rapture angels salvation purpose the sermons are over they've consulted all kinds of materials and preached it and that's the end of it there are business people who are tired because they are tired of the routine that the bankruptcy of creativity and lack of insight brings. Ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you this? Especially if you are a minister of the gospel, you must obtain grace from the Spirit to have insight into Scripture so that you can draw forth mysteries how do you know that you have had insight into scripture because you will be able to draw forth solutions from stories solutions from scripture reciting it is not where the mystery is there is something hidden within the story hidden within the parable you can draw half of a scripture in genesis combine it with half of a scripture in judges Combine it with another half scripture in Nahum and it creates a whole picture that only you can sell to the body of Christ that becomes a new word compliant insight that brings the saints to certain levels of power. Say insight. One more time, say insight. I'm praying in the name of Jesus that the book will be opened and that the seals will be broken. The seals will be broken. May your eyes see it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I attend meetings with all humility almost every week. And all of these meetings have their topics that you are giving. They have their topics. And some of those topics may be spiritual in nature. Others would demand that you outsource intelligence from other fields to add to your knowledge of the word if you do not have insight into scripture and generally insight into things you should be able to look at an orange and see beyond an orange have insight is someone learning yeah. number four when you receive the miracle of a seen eye the gift of sight what is the fourth area that will be activated in your life are you ready prophetic revelations 
prophetic revelations I want you to listen now number one visions and dreams number two your creativity and imagination number three insights from scripture number four prophetic revelations John 16 13 prophetic revelations you do not have to be a prophet to be prophetic I said it while I was teaching this morning in Lagos that there is the office of a prophet but there is the operation of the prophetic and you do not have to be a prophet to have that privilege every believer has the liberty of operating prophetically Jesus said when he the spirit of truth is come please look up he will guide you into all truth it says for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear he shall speak help me read the last sentence and he will show you things to come 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 the word of knowledge comes under this category also the ability to have insight into events past and events present the moment it becomes futuristic is no longer the word of knowledge the jurisdiction of the word of knowledge is access to events past and events present the moment you begin to speak about the future that is prophecy not word of knowledge the word of knowledge has a jurisdiction because it deals with events past and events present hallelujah revelations 1 verse 1 and then we do 4 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ which he gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must surely come to pass to show his servants what the things which must shortly come to pass the things which must shortly come to pass imagine that by prophetic insight you have access to what will happen tomorrow Tuesday Wednesday Thursday concerning your life concerning your family Revelations 4 and verse 1 4 and verse 1 after this I looked and behold a door was opened in heaven and the first voice which I heard as it were of a trumpet talking with me which said come up hither and I will show you the things that must be hereafter when God gives you the miracle of the seen eyes you will start seeing in the spirit seeing in the spirit is different from dreams in many ways it's even different from visions you are literally caught up like Ezekiel was caught up and he was brought into certain realms where he saw things this is very powerful in first Kings chapter 5 the full text is from verse 20 down to 27 the story of Naaman Gehazi and Elisha the Bible tells us that when Naaman was healed he returned back with gifts to say thank you second Kings 5 he came to say thank you and when he said thank you Elisha told him don't worry carry your gifts and go away with it and while he was saying that the Bible says Gehazi remember this are Gehazi the guy was hot and angry and said how could this man lose such an opportunity like this and he came out and smuggled his way to follow the chariot and Gehazi the servant of Elisha the man of God said behold my master had spared Naaman this Syrian not receiving at his hands that which he brought but as the Lord live it can you imagine he's even mentioning the Lord there I will run after him and take some word of him next verse so Gehazi followed after Naaman and when Naaman saw him running after him he lighted down from the chariot to meet him and said is all well uh-huh and he said all is well my master had sent me saying this is how many people will be cheated in their organizations because they do not have the seen eye someone will go and misrepresent you 
and say well I was sent by this boss I was sent by this preacher and because we do not have the seen eye you will be misrepresented in the face of people because there are individuals within your organization that may be compromising out of your values but because you do not have the eyes to see let's finish up behold even now there be come unto me from Mount Ephraim two young men look at how he cooked up that lie he wasted his creativity you see that that all this story just came out like word of knowledge two young men of the sons of the prophets I hope you know lies taps into creativity because you don't rehearse lies if you rehearse lies the Holy Spirit will most likely convict you while you are rehearsing it and say is this worth it and you now say I repent to oh God I'm sorry so when you can literally stand before people and lie for hours and as the lie is coming when you realize there's a loophole another creativity covers the lie let's finish this scripture please koinonia don't do this to me i pray thee he said a talent of silver and two changes of raiment let's finish up and then naaman said be content take two talents and he urged him and bound two talents of silver in two bags and two changes of raiment and laid them upon two of his servants and they bear them before him uh -huh. we're reading to 27 and when he came to the tower he took them from their hand and bestowed them in the house and he let the men go and they departed 25 but he went in and stood before his master say the seeing eye and Elisha said unto him from where are you coming listen when people who have eyes ask you certain questions just tell the truth because to lie is to complicate the situation again he would have just said sir you have seen I know you have seen something I'm sorry let's finish that scripture from whence cometh thou Gehazi and he said thy servant went not with her I didn't go anywhere and he said unto him when not my heart or some versions who say my spirit was my spirit not with you when the man turned again from his chariot look at him describing this he was not in a crusade ground he was in his house when he turned from his chariot my God only God knows how many people are seeing what you are doing you are not alone no who else saw it from his chariot while you were collecting the bribe you were alone in the room as you hid it is it true that you were alone oh his angels they're in the realm of the spirit no there are men who have the seen eye hallelujah is it a time to receive money and to receive garments look at how he described how do you lie he has already told you what you received money and garment and olive yards, vineyards, sheep, oxen, manservant, main servant, 27. And in anger, he's costing the leprosy, therefore, of Neman shall cleave to thee and unto thy seed forever. There is no mention of the man saying, Have mercy. And he went out from his presence immediately, a leper as white as snow. What a fearful prophet. It didn't take three days old. As he was speaking, a man just became leprous immediately. The power of the seeing eye. Every time you have insight into things in the realm of the spirit, you can create possibilities sometimes in a moment. This is the reason why when people prophesy, they speak from that altitude in the spirit. God has granted them access to sight and they can say be blessed and immediately realities just materialize and manifest in your life it is true hallelujah praise the name of the lord do you believe this prophetic revelations the bible says that men and women can see it is the privilege of believers to see to see into the spirit and you can know 
you can walk in the spirit you can literally be carried in the spirit and you do not have to be a prophet it is the strength of your secret place the health of your spirit man hallelujah i did not even know that there was a prophetic dimension to my life when i started having supernatural experiences it was just blind hunger loving jesus and unfortunately in my case it was a mix of all kinds of spirits remember i shared with you about this oppression that i would have in my room and then these spirits would just open my door literally and begin to press you and now you are in the world of the spirit but you are not able to manifest physically you see that now let me tell you something that just to educate our minds watch this if i am here now standing with another individual the moment i am open to the realm of the spirit the person standing close to me will be affected by that reality because i have opened a portal he may not know what has happened to him are we together now is the reason why people carry their atmospheres oh dear yes it is true people carry their atmospheres when paul as saul encountered jesus the other people in the donkey they did not know what was happening but they fell as a result of it you get that so if my eyes is open and I'm seeing something now, there will be a reaction within the circumference. It doesn't matter. Anybody within there because a portal has been opened. It's a vista, it's a gateway, it's an access point. It will affect everybody within that circumference. And this is the idea of walking under a, an open heavens that through consecration, yieldedness and alignment, you literally become a walking portal. You are a conduit point. Are we together now? Yes. When that happens to you as a man of God, you become a mysterious blessing. You will carry the power of God. Your assignment is to take the glory to meetings. And the moment you stand there, that portal is opened. Beyond just your preaching and singing, all kinds of spiritual activities are happening. Angels ascending and descending. Anointings and mantles are pouring upon people whilst you are speaking. Hallelujah. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. You can be affected by another man's spiritual atmosphere. Spiritual atmospheres are communicable. You can be affected by another man's prayer life. You can be affected by another man's spiritual climate. Men walk with their climates. They carry their climates. Listen, have you ever entered a room and you just sense that they've been gossiping in this room? there's jealousy because these things are an interaction with the realm of the spirit as casual as they sound and the realm of the spirit has presence components that follow it hatred has a presence jealousy has a presence love has a presence power has a presence creativity has a presence it is true hallelujah that is the reason why you can listen to a man and by listening to that man and opening your spirit his atmosphere can prime your own atmosphere and you will begin to experience what that person is experiencing it is true it is true blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God, let's see who comes in the name of our God. Let's see who comes in the name of our God. Let's see who comes in the name of our God. Let's see who comes in the name of our God. Hallelujah. 
you can enter a house where a man through the sacrifice of spiritual exercises has literally opened a portal there and the man may not be around you can sit alone in the living room and certain interactions in the spirit are happening to you because you came under a portal and open heavens this is true so if a man carries his spiritual climate it can have an effect on you it's true most high 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 hallelujah now hear me ladies and gentlemen those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are those who will be interested in receiving the gift of sight the gift of the seen eye not the open eye your eye can be open and yet you are blind Parakatos kadibalakusia. your eye can be open man of God and yet you are blind there is the miracle of sight blind Bartimeo said that I may receive my sight he didn't say that my eyes be open that I may receive my sight and Jesus said then receive your sight it is a gift you can receive it The ability to see prophetically the ability to see through the mind of your imagination the ability to see to draw insight from scripture the ability to take advantage of dreams and visions and rewrite your destiny how could you fail with these systems of advantage no most high most high most high most high most high most high something is happening to you most high most high ah. Most high Most high Hear me Can you tell me what the next phase of your destiny is in ministry If your answer is no then be ready to pray the prayer we're about to pray now. It is a risk to walk not knowing God's prophetic blueprint for your future. That would be a blind man and that would be a risk in life and destiny. You cannot wait for situations and circumstances to define your movement. And it is a risk to guess blindly just based on instincts. You need the gift of sight. To know with certainty what God wants you to do. To know with certainty what the ministry should do. To know with certainty the next phase of your business. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. By the power of the seen eye, the Lord himself spoke to it was Philip now and told him join this chariot and when he joined that chariot it was the utopian eunuch and that simple obedience brought him salvation because the man was reading and he said please tell me of whom is this is this about himself or another 
and they began a discussion ladies and gentlemen can i tell you if you do not have the eyes that see your helpers will pass you you will call enemies friends you will call friends enemies if you do not have the eyes that see you will call demonic doors open doors and you will enter them to your destruction if you do not have the eyes that see you can be watching things that will destroy you and enter into it headlong for there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death hear me i can tell you with all humility narrow escapes that have happened in my life and destiny in ministry simply because of the gift of sight meetings i always i almost went that i should not have gone and thank god i did not go associations i almost would have been part of but by the gift of sight many of you right now are in regrets respectfully speaking relationships that were going to destroy you you did not see you call the man an angel until you found out he was a devil you call the woman a queen or a princess until you found out it was something that would destroy you and unfortunately i hate to be a bearer of bad news some of you went further and now you have been trapped in painful experiences that only the mercy of god will help you through hallelujah there are people today who made costly mistakes there are certain courses they should have studied in the university but because they did not have the eyes to see their destiny they veered off and invested time and energy only to find out they may never never need it it did not help them in any way and some of you right now god has given you the gift of children but you do not have the eyes to see their future when jacob was about to die he called his sons he said come let me tell you your future one by one they started filing up and he would describe them and bless them describe them and bless them describe them and bless them hallelujah can i tell you as a leader when you have the gift of sight you will know who to put in what unit and who to put in what department i was doing a, a, a teaching in enugu i think it was a week or two about two weeks ago and i was saying leadership is the ability to combine imperfect people to produce a system that works you will never find people perfect people in your life because you are not yourself and yet you will have to make do with those fragile resources both human and monetary but the ability to know by the power of sight that putting this guy in finance department is a risk no matter how the person he has a perpetual weakness with money yet he's a creative person there are people who are very diligent but they have tendencies of disloyalty there are those who are not creative but they are loyal and all this will be sent to you by god it is your ability to see many people have allowed sentiments to make them put the wrong people you put a man who does not have compassion for the sheep as a lead pastor and then the person does not have the time whether they cry he does not care it's not like he's a bad person he's just not a pastor unfortunately the gift of sight and can i tell you when you have the gift of sight you can look at somebody who is stubborn and supposedly wicked today and you will see the greatest gift in your life and when people say can, how come this gentleman or how come this lady this person should be out of your school or this person should be out of your house and you look at them in the midst of their imperfections because you have seen what their tomorrow looks like you will endure until you build them and they become leaders who do not have the power of sight will throw away some of the greatest gifts in their life some of the most anointed men and women in this ministry by the grace of god if you had seen them when they came they did not look like it but the ability to see the cleaner who is cleaning your house now you will be surprised that that is the person who can die for you even more than your children the person may not be able to speak 
Yes, he has tendencies and he's stealing 10 naira, 20 naira here. But it's just a mindset that was manipulated by spirits. The person still has the purity of heart. Can you look beyond people's actions? The sin I will help you to forgive. The sin I will help you to know how to tolerate people. It gives you the staying power to give people a chance to rise. But the sin I will also caution you. And tell you this person will remain the same even after 20 years. Beware now before you cry tomorrow. The sin I. Some of you, God warned you about many people years ago. But sentiments, you were wrapped up with sentiments. Until they now became a plague to your organization. A plague to your life. Can I tell you, one of the greatest gifts in my life is the eyes that see. The one you see is not the only one I have. You can watch people. And as you see people, you are seeing things beyond what the eyes. You can, you can be given access to people's tendencies. Access to people's weaknesses. Access to people's limitations. Not to laugh at and condemn them. But to be able to know where to take them and where not to take them. How to guide them and how not to guide them. For me, I will not do what Elisha did. I will not cause leprosy on the person. But I will say, Gehazi, be careful. This is a revelation that you are not ready to receive the mantle. What do we do about this now? Perhaps he would have been called Prophet Gehazi. There are many people today who left destiny helpers they should not have left. Like Lot and made certain mistakes. And if not for the intervention of Abraham, Lot would have died in Sodom and Gomorrah. I know that that uncle may be harsh. That auntie may be harsh. It looks like they always show tribalism and sentiments. But if you have the seen eye, God will say remain in that house. As, as harsh as that treatment is, that is the greatest university that can make a leader out of you. Running around and looking for comfort will produce a weak person. And in the midst of that pain, it is true that they may accuse you and insult you and call you names and you want to leave and God says stay there if you have the eyes that see one day that harsh man and his harsh wife will call you and say I don't like you but God gave us an instruction he said we should build you a house and empower you to go and when you tell people it was Pharaoh that gave you gold they will not believe it if you were in Egypt and they ask you where will you get gold from you probably will say Canaan sometimes gold will still come from the Egypt that persecuted you the very place of your pain is where your treasure will come from but do you have the grace to stay until you receive it or will you hurry out of Egypt and leave empty-handed if they had left Egypt two weeks before the time appointed they will not go with the gold that they will use to build the tabernacle Hallelujah. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? There are people today who left Nigeria and as soon as they arrived where they arrived, they knew that their decision was a superior decision because everything showed that their destinies were not here. There were others who were blindly copying and they just got up. As soon as they left Nigeria, their destiny helpers got to where they had been walking and they got there where the people were and they were nowhere to be found. And some of them, with all due respect, are living like fugitives in a strange land. We are going to take five minutes and I'm going to leave you with your maker. You are going to cry. Lord, deliver me from blindness. Open up my eyes and give me the gift of sight. Go ahead and pray. Open up my eyes. Give me the gift of sight. The ability to see. The seeing eye. The eye that sees the future. The eye that redeems the future. Dominion over time. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray.
Ay, 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 ay. Glory be to God. 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 Ay, 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 ay. ay, ay, ay. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, say glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory be to God. Ay, 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 glory be to God. Ay, 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hear me, hear me, in the name of Jesus. Father, what chariot should I be joining in this season? What partnerships do I need in this season? to break out of and to become part of who is an ally indeed in this season it will not come by physical appearance you will need the ability to see what should I be studying and meditating upon right now what business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years don't assume the seen eye is the solution Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kotos, kete branda kata pa kotos koto pre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.